Hi, I'm Skye and uh, my daughter Willow is in Wobbegong. She's in Year 6 and uh, she's been with the school since 2011 and she started in Kuinda when she was four. We were in the financial situation that we were in because Mark had uh, been dealing with a, a very severe cancer diagnosis since 2009. He hadn't worked for almost three years so he had a year of treatment a year of recovery and he was in the third year just coming back to work and <clears throat> it just became evident that uh, our ability to to rebuild financially was severely impeded when we shared our story with bill um, it was really bill's compassion uh, for willow and her journey and the importance for her to be held in a stable community uh, while we rebuilt as a family and actually we didn't know what was around the corner but as it turned out Mark uh, received another diagnosis in 2015 and sadly he died in 2016 and uh, consequently I think that the the impact of having had this scholarship was profound actually beyond anything that we could have originally have uh, expected because with so much uh, stress and tragedy and loss going on at home. Willow was really a, held in a very uh, supportive uh, place here at school and, and none of that would have been possible without the, the scholarship. I would really encourage other families to donate to the scholarship fund because you never know when uh, or who is going to need that. and. Certainly, you know, I've learned through the process that community is so profoundly important and that all of the children in our community are the responsibility of the community. And when a tragedy impacts or hardship impacts a family in the community, everybody feels it. So I really feel, I really believe, and, and I have experienced that actually it's 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 all of our responsibility to hold this community together and the scholarship fund allows us to do that.